welcome to the 38th annual San Francisco Day of the Dead Ritual Procession. We are the oldest, one of the oldest in the city and the biggest in the country. There is no larger ritual procession in the continental United States. We have come together all these years, even though it's a traditional Mexican festival, we invite people of all cultures to join us because we all have dead to mourn. We also have companion animals to mourn. The reason I had us all give the bienvenida up and look up because before the arrival of the Spanish, nosotros no teníamos infierno, no teníamos purgatorio. We did not have hell. The people in this continent did not, did not believe that there was a hell. Teníamos un lugar que se llama Miticlán. Que es un lugar a donde van los muertos. Pero eso no quiere decir que eso era un infierno. Era parte del ciclo de la vida y la muerte. Y punto. Son intelectualizes. ¿Ok? I'm not going to hell because we don't believe in hell. That's a good one, I thought. This is a very sad year for many of us. The standards that hold us in the sacred circle have the photos of some of the photographs of the people that died in the castle. Some of the photographs of the people that died in Dayton, Ohio. And who on earth does not remember who Jose Jose was? He's right there, Jose, Jose, el príncipe de la canción romántica en toda Latinoamérica. También tenemos el otro soldado de Anzado, el caso Francisco, el amigo Francisco Toledo, el pintor oaxaqueño, allá está, que uh, murió hace más de un mes en Oaxaca. Fue que donó la escuela de arte para los indios en Oaxaca. Estamos dedicando esta procesión a, por supuesto, a los muertos de a la masacre en el paso, a los muertos en Dayton, y perdónenme, pero tengo que mencionar, no les voy a decir todos los nombres, pero ¿a quién está dedicada la procesión? Está dedicada a las víctimas of the Trump immigration camps all along the U.S.-Mexico border. 28 victims that died in El Paso, the nine in Dayton. Jay Davies, another one of the orange ones, he was one of the founders of what we now know before the ethnic cleansing took place of the District of Protection and Children, and we were able to find a photograph that's very, very radical, which is a photograph of the first transgender that died in one of the Trump concentration camps. And her name was Roxana Hernandez. Uh, the other dedication goes, uh, in, that is included is also the victims of gun violence, Victims of police violence, terrorist attacks and chemical wars, victims of unprecedented catastrophic events, victims of racial terror and ethnic cleansing, public servants who died in the line of duty, and all persons and their companion animals this year. Sorry to keep it too long. <laughs> 